guys and welcome back to my mini project pan. So this year I ended up just choosing five pro uh, products at a time uh, so that I wouldn't get too overwhelmed and I could still focus on the rest of my collection. So uh, I wanted to give you an update again and show you my progress and um, maybe I can choose some new products again. Because I have chosen less products to work on, I feel like I'm making more progress. And I'm so much more happy with just focus on a few things and still like love on the rest of my collection. So I feel like I've done well this time as well as last time. So I'm just going to start with the first product, which is my Isadora Lip Booster. This is a plumping and hydrating gloss in number 11 Juicy Mode. I, I don't know if you can see, but there's still product in here, but you have to twist it uh, in order for the product to come out and I can't get more out. So even though there's a little bit product left in the tube sort of, I'm still gonna consider this done because I can't get more product out. So I officially finished another lip product this year. I'm so, so happy about that. I also finished the Inglot Corrective Concealer. It's the middle one right here. It's called Peach and I, do, I did really like it, but I'm also kind of glad I finished it. I did work a lot on this concealer as well. I made major progress, but it's not in my project pan, but I'm happy to say that I also finished the concealer. Something else I reached my goal on, I didn't finish it, my, but my goal was to hit pan. It is the Kevin Aquan um, Sculpting Powder in Light. And as you can see, I did hit pan. Very happy about that. So I'm going to put this back into my collection. And then I have the Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil Waterproof in number, I think it was 30, dark. So I do like these pencils. They're very affordable. Um, and uh, I like how they, I've used it today with some brow powder on top. And I really like how they perform. They're easy to apply. It's a good color, maybe a little bit too dark, but I probably get a slightly lighter shade. And this is how much I have left. So there's just a tiny, tiny little bit left. I was considering just waiting with this video until I have finished it but I'm so ready to move on and this will probably take me like maybe tomorrow or two days uh, of usage and it's it's gonna be gone. So I'm gonna consider this gone. I'm still gonna use it all the way up, but um, I will choose another product to replace this in this video. And the last product that I have been working on for the past few weeks is the Manicadar Step 3 Perfect HD Perfecting Powder. And I have not reached my goal with this powder, but as you can see, I think I'm about to hit pan. You can sort of see the pan or like the structure of the pan. So hopefully I will be able to hit pan, which was my goal, um, by next update. So now I'm going to show you which new, four new products I am going to include in my project. So the first thing is um, another eyebrow pencil because I'm about to finish this one. I want to um, include the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Taupe. And this is probably a product that a lot of you guys are familiar with, but this is completely new for me. I haven't even tried it yet, so I don't know if I like it. 
but it has a spoolie on one end and a retractable um, pencil on the other and I think this came broken no no it wasn't hmm what a surprise they are usually broken but this is not as fine as the Slimatic from Catrice and so I'm kind of guessing that I will out of these two maybe like this Catrice one better and I also think it's slightly less expensive or they're both very affordable but I'm just guessing that the Catrice one will still be my favorite out of these two but I'm very excited to try the e.l.f. one now let's see how much product is in here okay so there's not really very much product in these pencils that's why I think you use it up very quickly next up I want to include a lip product again because I've been so excited about the fact that I have been able to use up so many lip products so um, I decided to put this H&M lip color to go in the color Rosy Outlook. I've had this in my um, monthly stash this month and I really enjoyed wearing it. It is a little bit glittery so that when the moisture in the product um, goes away, you're, you're kind of left with just glitter <laughs> and when you then um, rub your lips you can kind of feel that kind of gritty texture which I don't love so for that reason I will not repurchase this but I th do think but I do think it's a lovely product like while it is on and it lasts and yeah I just love the color and it looks really nice At least for a while and it still looks good um it, it fades nice and it's not like you can see the chunks of glitter but it's more the feeling that i don't love um but yeah this is how big it is now and i think i'm just going to measure it with the picture um instead of in a book this time actually yeah i will and then I also have another pencil. This is for the eyes. This is kind of like the NYX um, Milk Eye Pencil, Creamy Eye Pencil, only this is from Cherry Culture and it's so old. I even have backups of this one because I, I did use it a lot um, for a while. This is um, going to be used as an eyeshadow primer, sort of. And... Um, Hopefully it still works. I've used it today for my eyeshadow look. I've done like a yellow, only yet using a yellow eyeshadow. And um, I thought it worked really nice. And then lastly, I'm gonna include the Makeup Store Micro Shadow in Glam. I've been working on this a lot this month and I've made a good dent in it. My goal is to hit pan on it, and I think it would look good in my next month's um, choice of eyeshadow palette. So, yeah, that's my last product. My hopefully for next time I will reach my goal on this one and hit pan. Hopefully I will hit pan on the eyeshadow. Hopefully I will maybe even finish this one and get like halfway in there with this lip product and I'm sure I'll use this e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil up maybe by next time. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!